got I got 17. I got I'm not sandbagging. No, I'm not. Lucina's my second best character. It's not saying much, but I'm not sand. All right, I got nothing. All right, so this is still winner's quarter, so this is the best of three. This is actually the first time I'm seeing light play. <laughs> yeah, don't, you, you don't want a second. You don't want a second jump in against like Robin because Levin's sword will mess you up. Okay, so. That was the one thing I was wondering. Is Robin capable of punishing a reflected arc fire? Now I know. Alright. I'm surprised he didn't down throw our bear. Yeah, I was surprised too. Okay. Wow, just regular fair kill. Alright. Okay, so. Why don't you do that? Why don't you do no, that? The only reason why that killed is because Carrasco DI'd that in the worst possible way ever. He DI'd in on the down throw and then away on the fair. If he would have done it the other way around, he would have lived. Yeah. Like, I have died way too many times to follow down throw back here to not know how to DI that correctly now. Inklings? We have mage. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, but anyway, so, like, back to the match at hand. Yeah, like, Cabasco's down two stocks. Okay, good cat. Yeah, honestly, the secret to that arc fire. So the secret to that arc fire is, if he hasn't already thrown it out by the time you get there, as soon as you see him like put his hands up, you have enough time to roll as the move is coming out, and then punish him while he's still in end leg. And if the move is already out by the time you get there, you can just wait it out with your invincibility. Who's commentating with me? Mars, I am. Commentate with me. I got you. Okay. Yeah. I was expecting you to carry me in commentary. Oh, that was a good throw. That's not how it worked. Man. Oh, he didn't have 11 sword for that. Otherwise, I would have looked at No! This is bad. I think he took it. Yeah, he took it in scout. Okay, so the one thing I'm knowing that Cabasco is really doing is like, even if he does get an aerial, he kind of wants the whole light in place so that he kind of stops that from making the movement. And that was a really good opportunity to just walk up, shield, and then try to get closer because in the range, Palutena will play out this aimbot will kill you. Right. For sure. Even if you're trying to go for like our fire thunder, he'll stop you. Yeah, oh, what a confirm. A good... This isn't good. Down throw. Two. Oh, oh, you thought the platform was safe. He did the jump steady, only it actually worked. <laughs> I've never Ow. seen yours actually kill. But Here. does it kill? Let me, let me let him get on the mic. Hold on. <laughs> I've never... Yeah, he did the jump steady. He did. Yeah, he did the jump steady, but huh? it actually killed. What? I don't know. Okay, so if you're Robin, right, and you have to fight Palu, what's the best stage to go to? That's a question I would ask Abasco, but I feel like you would want, like, a bigger stage. A small stage things are, it seems ideal because of Love and Sword, but the problem is like you have charge. Smashville. Okay. You want you want you want something like Town and City probably, and then of course Kalos. I respect Smashville simply because like you want Love and Sword to do its work and then trap your opponent and then make sure they're more respectable of Arcfire. But at the same time, like Palutena just moves so quick and she's gonna outframe you. Right. I'm surprised uh, unless Light Band FD. I'm surprised he didn't go with you there. So I imagine that's probably a good stage for Robin in this matchup. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah, and Light has just been rushing down Tabasco since the start of this game. Okay. So now Cabasco has the lead, so now I'm really curious to see like how he plays the lead, because now he doesn't feel the pressure of having to like approach and like But the thing is like that is true, but in the air to air, like I said, like Palutena would just dominate. And unfortunately, neutral get up. Look at how space light was. Yeah. He could have gone for. He literally wasn't going to go for a back air. He was looking to go for like a grab or a forward smash there, oh, and he, he got right. Oh, okay, that was a good attack. He's losing so much advantage to shoot. <laughs> that's so unfortunate. That's, that's <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> wow, it feels bad for Robin. 
down throw. Oh, he messed up the right man. Yeah, he. That was yeah, he, that, yeah, that was a totally attack cancel. Oh, good parry. Is he gonna get off of this? Good roll. I respect that he didn't want to get grabbed there, but unfortunately, like the kind of new. He's like, he's probably gonna go for a roll. Oh, wow. I think that would have actually that, killed that if the killed. win box. Yeah, if the win box would have gotten him too. That's so unfortunate. Don't you just hate it when like players make really good reads and setups, but then it just doesn't connect because hitboxes don't work in this game? Yeah. <laughs> the one time I just see the most solid like elf hunter just hit him. Oh, why, why did you do that? He why? He like he literally told you like jump in, fam, and you're like, oh okay. All right, I'll jump in. <laughs> Into the arms of an angel, and unfortunately, like that's where you're going. You could have done anything else. Yeah, like. So. He, that's what I'm telling you. Like he saw, you see so much space there that you really could have just like, okay, hold on, let me just neutral get up. So, so think about Kabaska, right? Because Kabaska's from NorCal, and like at this point, I'm considered both. Um, so from what I remember, I'm remembering now that from Cavasco, the thing about him is that when he's in disadvantage, he's not trying to reset it. He's just straight up trying to convert it into an advantage because he's scared of disadvantage. And like, I'm not sure if that's just like a him thing or like a Robin thing. Cause like granted, like Robin's disadvantage is really bad, but still he needs to recognize that like light at this point has caught on to the fact that like he's trying to force his way out of disadvantage into advantage. So he needs to just back off more, like respect these hard call outs the light is doing. And just recover back to the stage. Okay, good, good. He has to go for that low recovery. Oh man, he okay, barely gets away from grab. Keep going for it. Oh, wait for it. Wait for the get up here. That's the problem that I also feel Kabas was kind of like struggling here is actually just. Ooh, my god. I feel like he struggles a little bit from ledge guards. Okay, Alright, that'll do it. Alright, this is his last charge. He has to make the most of it. No, he went all for it. Yeah, see, this is why you always DI away, because, like, it's not, it's not throw. Up throw? Back, no, 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 back, back throw. He, up throw, up throw would have not killed. Yeah, I was going to say, his up throw, up throw would have no killed. No He just died from jab. He just died from jab. He, he kept doing too many standard get up. Like, all of his get up options were standard get up. Yeah, but the one time he tried, see, that's the thing he had, his, he didn't mix up his get ups. He, he didn't did mix it. up the timings. Mm-hmm. 